Hi, this is Steve Dillon and welcome back to my video blogs. Today we're going to talk about something that has great importance in the musical instrument industry. There are three things on my desk and they're all related in one way or another. Here's a trumpet made by the CG Khan Company, but we're not going to be talking specifically about instruments today. We're going to be talking about the two other items that are on my desk and their importance in the musical instrument industry. A little bit of history. When World War II was declared, most of our manufacturers in this country that made musical instruments had to switch over to make products for the war effort. The Steinway Company that made pianos made airplane wings. And that went through, they looked at each company and saw what their strengths were, and they had to make things that uh, accented their strengths. These two items were made by the CG Con Company, and this is what kept them in business during the war. During the war, they could not no longer, when they started making uh, in, uh, stuff for the uh, military, they had to then switch over and they could no longer make musical instruments. As a matter of fact, I have a letter that was sent to a, a Mr. Harold Spear in New Jersey here, and it's uh, postmarked December 29th, 1943. And I'll read you part of the letter. It's, it's sent by the Kahn Company, and the letterhead says, Victory is our business. Manufacturers of precision instruments for marine and aerial navigation. And at the bottom, Mr. Spear writes in, and he's uh, asking about a coronet that he has, and he wants to get fixed, and asking if they have any new brochures. And the gentleman writes back, At the present time, we are not manufacturing horns. So we do not have any catalogs or monthly booklets. The Con Company is primarily devoted to the war effort, although our repair department is functioning as always. So, two of the things I'd like to look at today is what kept Con in business during World War II. From 1941 until 1945, Con was making basically navigational uh, equipment for the Navy. And the first thing we have here is a ship's compass. Now. Khan worked in brass. Why would that be important uh, for the Navy? Because brass does not corrode. This is a ship's compass. It's very heavy. This would have been on a lot of the ships. Right on the side, it says U.S. Navy Bureau of Ships, made by C.G. Khan, Elkhart, Indiana. And this is what Khan made. This is part of what Khan made for the war effort. We have the binnacle, and as a matter of fact, I have some of the plans that go to the binnacles, that the, the different types that they made for the Navy, and I have numerous ones of these, and they're all very interesting because it shows that the musical instrument makers, they, they were able to readapt to uh, other things to uh, keep themselves in business. Now, the next thing we have here is called a direct indicating vibration pickup. It's in a nice little box. And we even have, I, I printed out a copy of the patent. The patent was applied for in uh, May 9th of 1944, and it was uh, granted to Earl Kent, who had worked at the Kahn factory. Now, in it, this is again another piece used for uh, the military. It was a type of device that they were able to pick up vibrations and find out where they come from. It's all very interesting. It all very shows what the United States manufacturers went, uh, the lengths they went to, to help to donate to the war effort. Now, this is the main reason why a lot of people will call in and say, how come I never see any instruments, con instruments, uh, from 1942 to 1945? Well, the reason that is, is because this is what they were making. Thank you, and please visit dylanmusic.com where you can see this great con trumpet amongst other things we have for sale. Thank you.